Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to hop on here and share with you a yarn haul. Uh, I didn't buy it, so it's, it doesn't count as like buying things I don't need. <laughs> it is a yarn swap. Here's Fox. That I did, I'm doing. Right here. With Doris from uh, Rose Cottage Crochet. I will link her channel down below. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about her now though because she's been making really awesome videos for the last month. She started right around the time that I had June. Uh, so it's been about a month since she started putting videos on her channel and she's been putting tons of videos on there all kinds of really good tips and content and giveaways and just all kinds of awesome stuff so go check her out but anyways me and her has done a few swaps uh i swap her yarns that i can't use specifically my knit crates that i get um the ones that i don't give away uh on the channel i save up and send to her because it's alpaca and wool i'm allergic to alpaca wool i'm kind of sensitive to um, so I swap her those fancy yarns and she sends me a box of acrylic <laughs> or cotton. So, um, yeah, so I got this today and I already opened it. There's no way I was going to not open it. <laughs> I'm not good at doing, uh, surprises, but I'm going to show you guys what I got and actually take a look at it. I opened it in the car and like dug around in it, but I didn't like read the labels. Anyways, let's get into it. So I did actually send hers off today. I picked mine up and sent hers off the same day only because I, uh, I was busy all week. Haven't had a chance to go to the post office. But it's on the way to you. And it should be there early next week, hopefully. But, uh, yeah. So, here is the box upon opening it. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> so, there's what you see on top. So, let's just grab it out here. Okay. So, first there's two balls of Eco Brats. Which I had a bunch of this. I made a baby blanket. I don't think I have it anymore. Because it wasn't one for me. It was one. It was a gift one. Uh, but it's Eco Brats by Loops and Threads. And it's this recycled yarn. It's recycled polyester. And it's really pretty bright red color. It's not quite that bright in real life, but it is pretty bright. <laughs> What's it called? It's called red. Hold on, give me a second. It is called red. <laughs> it's color number four, red. <laughs> oh, big surprise there. I used, the one I made was a green, a green color. I had a whole bunch. I bought it on clearance at michael's for like two dollars a ball and i made a baby blanket with it and i had a ton left over that i ended up doing a giveaway for but so there's two balls of that and it is 100 percent recycled polyester i think it's a number four. Oh no it's a number five uh but it's actually small i thought i treated it as a number four when i worked with it and it worked up like a number four it's really soft and uh, so now i got red that i can make something with a pretty christmas uh project there's that all right this next one I love doing yarn swaps with people because a lot of times you get yarns that you either normally wouldn't buy or you've never had. Like this brand right here. This is called Lauren Basic. Now, I've never seen this yarn before. So here it is. This is like a darker color in our life. This is more of a burgundy color. It's showing up brighter on my phone. But it's really pretty uh, like burgundy color in our life. But it's called Lauren Basic. It is, it says it's a number three. Uh... Let's see. Oh, it's made in Turkey. 328 yards. Oh, I didn't say that for that. And it's 100% acrylic. The color number is 105. <laughs> but it's really pretty red. So that'll be a pretty project. This other yarn here is 255 yards each. Alright, next. This is another one I've never had. So that's like the fun thing about doing swaps. Uh, this is called Rowan Mako Cotton Baby. There's two of them. It's 50 gram balls. Let's see, the color is 1007. I hate it when it's like that. <laughs> and it is 63% cotton, 37% lyle cell. I'm not sure what lyle cell is. I'll have to Google that. Made in Italy. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> let's see here. Did I already? Uh, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. I don't think it has the size. 109 yards each. It looks like it's a three or four. I can't tell. I don't know if it says it. But it's cute. And it's like a cream color. It's like a like an off-white color. It's really pretty. And it's not it's not applied yarn. It's like a chained yarn. I'm not gonna you can't there's no way you can see it, but it's like a chain at yarn. So that's cool. It's really soft. That'll be fun. Alright, and then there's some cakes down in there. Alright, this first one is a lollipop. I think I had one of these. Or have one of these. I don't know. I have to look. I think I actually got one from her. <laughs> okay, this is a lollipop. It's 20% wool, 
80% acrylic. This is from Hobie. See, I said it will irritate me, but like Karen Cake wool and like this won't irritate me. Uh, it's just large amounts that like bother me. And it's like a uh, rustic kind, a really rough kind, you know. This one, okay, here's the color. Isn't that pretty? I think I might make something for my mom out of that. Let's see here. It is a number four worsted. And it has 382 yards. It's really pretty. This is lollipop. And it says use a J-hook. Made in Turkey. Designed in Denmark. That's cool. Color is number 28. <laughs> Alright, this next one is a carrot cake. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's just carrot cake. It's just a regular carrot cake. Uh, zucchini bread. I think I've had some of this before. And 80% acrylic, 20% roll. Yeah, see, I, I've had a bunch of carrot cakes. The regular ones before, years ago. And they didn't bother me. It's just little amounts that don't bother me. These have a lot of yardage in them. This is number four. And it has 445 yards. That's awesome. And then there is a latte cake. I've never had a latte cake. I've had two. Maybe they were latte cakes. I had two that was similar to a latte cake. But I don't think they were latte cakes. I mean, amigurumi monsters out of them. This one is a uh, caramel latte cake elderberry. Really pretty purples. Yeah, it's got different purples in it. Almost a pink color, but it's like a purpley pink. Really pretty. Uh, let's see here. It's a number five bulky. 58% acrylic, 42% nylon. That's random percentages. <laughs> uh, 530 yards. That'll make something cool. I'll have to look up uh, patterns. And then the last yarn, there's three of, and it's a little cake. It's called Soho Playful. Soho Playful. <laughs> That's funny. It's a number four. 65% uh, cotton, 35% acrylic, and the color is 1154. <laughs> oh, the color name is Strawberry Patch. Ooh, it's actually her name. This is really pretty. So here it is. That's pretty. I'll pick something for myself out of that. I'm not sharing this yarn. <laughs> Let's see here. How many yards does it say? I don't think it says. Um, I suck at reading. Oh, yeah, 218 yards each. So that's 600 yards, a little over 600. That's so pretty. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep that. I like that it's called Strawberry Patch because I love strawberries. That's so pretty. Yay, so that's all the yarn that I got from Doris. I'll put it back in this box until I find somewhere to put it. <laughs> I've been clearing out some of my shelves though. I actually have space. I just need to kind of move things around so that I can put similar yarns together. I have a habit of uh, just shoving yarns anywhere and then it's all kind of mixed up. I'm never gonna get this back in the box the way she had it in there. <laughs> She's like an expert um, packer. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. That's good enough. I don't need to close. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much, Doris, for doing this swap. And like I said, your yarn is on the way. And definitely check out her channel down below. Also, want to say I'm sorry if I sound congested because I am yet again got a head cold. <laughs> Jesse woke up sick on Tuesday, this past Tuesday. So we took we went to the doctor and we're negative for COVID, uh, flu, and strep. But he did have an ear infection plus sinus stuff. And then the next day, me and June started getting it. So now he's like on the tail end of it. He's a lot better. And me and June are still really uh, congested. And uh, it's just annoying. I just keep having sinus pressure and congestion with random runny nose. And uh, June is like congested. And she uh, has a nasal drip when she lays down flat. So I try to keep her elevated. Uh, which makes her cough. So I'll try to keep her elevated as much as possible. But hopefully we'll all get better soon. I, I hate head colds. Oh, but at least it's not chest cold or anything worse. I was afraid it was a strep throat because the first few days, Jesse and my throat were sore and I was afraid that we were getting strep throat. But uh, they tested for all that and it was all negative. So it's just regular cold <laughs> that we just have to uh, wait out. But yeah, so anyways, I, I'll link Doris down below. So check her out and I will hop off of here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.